You guys should see this, dude. It's gonna be amazing. But um, that's yeah, that's it. That's that's very very cool. Yeah. It's frozen carbon dioxide. This is the gas that we breathe out and that we generate when we burn uh, stuff like wood or gas or uh, coal. And it's only a uh, solid left right now because it's really, really cold. It's so cold that I can't actually touch it with my hands. So I have this shark do it for me. Um, and to show you that it is actually a gas and that it's, uh, it's making gas right now, we have this. Um, detergent and uh, water, and if it will, uh, I have to let the bubbles, and that's, um, you can see this kind of smoke coming off. A lot of people think that that's the carbon dioxide, but it's actually not. It's uh, humidity from the air that's condensing, and it's uh, turning into a cloud just because this is so cold. And uh, so I really like this molecule a lot. Actually, I kind of don't. Um, I do and I don't because it's the gas that we uh, that is responsible for uh, climate change. You've probably heard of that. Um, uh, but what a lot of people haven't quite heard is that it's also acidic. And what I have here is this is a slightly uh, alkaline mixture. It's uh, baking soda and a little bit of a dye called phenyl red. And phenyl red is uh, special because when it's a um, a base, it's red, but when it's an acid, it's yellow. So to show you that this is, in fact, a, uh, an acid, I'm going to take this and uh, drop it in. If we we'll just watch the color, can everyone see it? This is my first radio, David. Now it should slowly <laughs> turn really this yellow. Color to this You're in yellow-green. It's really kind of <laughs> radioactive, almost. Um, and this is important because, you know, as we um, as we burn coal and oil and stuff, we're taking this and we're putting it into the atmosphere, which causes climate change, but we're also putting it into the oceans indirectly. And that's a problem because, as you can see, it turns water acidic. And that's especially a problem for things like corals and shellfish, which use uh, basic uh, materials, calcium carbonate, to build their shells. And so um, we've actually been able to measure it in a number of places in the ocean. The, uh, the declining pH, which means the oceans are becoming more acidic. And there are, um, people have also seen uh, the effects on corals as well, which is important because millions of people depend on them every year. So that's, uh, that's what I have for you again, unless you want to see this again. <laughs>